Okay, so we're out here riding around looking for our location to shoot today. Riding through these streets. We are looking for a laundromat. I have one in mind, so I'm gonna ride by and see if the coast is clear because we're shooting gorilla style, just kind of on the spot. So we'll see what happens. And if the coast is clear, we will set up shop and take some awesome photos, right? Of course, duh. Okay then. I do. Okay, I think we found a location. We got this laundromat here in North Tacoma again. This little party going on across the street. That's okay. A little quickie mark across the street unless I need some batteries for my light. You go in. And the coast is clear. Perfect. Now hopefully we just don't get kicked out. So basically what we're gonna do is this whole shoot was based off of a picture that Michaela sent me that she found on Tumblr. It's a girl in a record store. She has a similar outfit that what she has on, but I couldn't quite find a record store to do a shoot like that or do something in that style of photos. We can do it around you, Matt, because I was like, oh, you know what? She has an outfit on with shorts and a shirt and she's holding a record player. But what if she was holding a laundry basket? I've shot in a laundromat before. I know some that I can use. They're pretty empty. You don't have to necessarily ask for permission because a lot of times I don't ask for permission. So, and in that case, hopefully we will get kicked out of this place, speaking of. But anyway, um, I'm gonna go in here. We're gonna try to take some really cool photos. I'm just gonna kind of show you how I would go about a situation like this, trying to make some cool pictures just for a cool concept. And I might even introduce some lighting. Uh, there is some natural light coming in through this window right here but then as we get further into the laundromat it's some more artificial lighting uh i forgot the fluorescent light so some of these photos might end up black and white some of them might end up in color who knows how i feel when i get to editing but you'll see so stay tuned we should have that was for you Okay, so, Michaela, what I'm going to have you do is I want to start by the natural light first to get some cool pictures out the way, like some legit ones. So, I'm going to have you sit down right there. Actually, let me have you grab your basket. That's perfect. Let me have you have a seat. And so, we'll work with this natural light situation here. Um, and then also, what you can do is grab a magazine, too. Yeah, sports. Can I not grab this? It's ripped. Yeah, grab something, but you know, get the bus pass one. Get the bus one. Cause you know, you, you probably took the bus here and that's the here. thing, right? Yeah. So I used to take these buses. <laughs> the 56 to the mall. Let me test my light. Okay, this is looking good. I'm at 1.8. 640 of a second ISO 800. I think I actually want to go deep. Do me a favor. Can you sit like cross, like caddy, like you know your legs, like Indian style? On the ground? No, on this chair. Like both legs on the chair. Perfect. Yep, that's excellent. Hold that. Do you want me to be like slouched or Um, relaxed. Yep. Hold that. 35 up here. Oh, this is perfect. This is what I'm looking at here about. It's something like this. She's got a laundry basket. You got the natural light coming in from the side here. And the shadow. Composition looks good. Let's take this and see what it looks like. Beautiful. Okay, let's get to moving. But like hold it up and just kind of be like thinking and looking out towards the light. Perfect. Hold it. Stay there. Oops, let me get wider. Boom, boom. Oh, switch up the comp. Mm, mm, mm. Perfect. Oh, wow. This is kind of dope. I might have to get you to come outside for a second. Hold that right there, though. All right, one, two. Ah, love it. 
I just like this. Come stand back here. Let's see what this looks like. So maybe like a... Um, ready, one, two, yeah. This is my perspective, YouTube. So as you can see, we have a scene where she's like on the floor next to the baskets, blowing bubble gum, just waiting for her stuff to get done. You know, we're just kind of setting the scene. We're telling a story, you know what I mean? So you guys get it, right? You, you see where I'm, you catch what I'm throwing? Perfect. All right, hold that. Oh, that's excellent. All right, YouTube, so what I'm gonna to try to do now is take this shoe to the next level. So I added some lighting. So I got two young Newell 560s, uh, version fours. I have my bootleg Gary Fong situation here that I made, and I'll explain this later. So I don't even have triggers. So I got the young Newell in slave mode. So I have this on here to pop this. Is when you're an engineer and you have like limited resources, you gotta make it happen. So I put this on the light stand with my little kind of snoot slash, well not even a grid, kind of more of like a reflector, but I put this black tape around to kind of like, anyways, I'll explain it later. So anyway, this is my setup, my one light, and this light to make this go off. So hopefully this looks cool. If it doesn't, you won't see it. So wish me luck. Okay, so this is my setup. I got my one light here with my little snoot situation on it. And I got my flash to trigger it. And we're gonna try to come up with some cool fashion type photos with some hard light and see what happens. So yeah, yeah, actually, yep, hold that, perfect. Three, one, two. That's cool. Hold that. This is dope. Stay there, getting closer. One, two. Perfect, stay there. Hold that. Don't move. Uh, composition. Boom. Yep, I'm in love. Well, I think we're good. I like what we got. We'll check these out. I'm gonna record a little video for just like a little mini trailer or some kind of Instagram. I don't know, I'm just gonna do some video. But um, we're gonna do that, then we're gonna head out. But I think I like what we got. We got some solid, solid shots here. Uh, I think the lighting took it to the next level. So when you guys see the video, you'll see some of the photos that I took. And then you'll also get to see how I edit either in this video or the next video. I'm not sure how I'll do it. So anyways, stay tuned. Okay folks, so hopefully you learned a few things from my little bootleg editorial situation. I think the pictures turned out good, but you can let me know in the comments what you think. Hey, hey, by the way, if you like the shoot, please comment and let me know if you want to see more like it. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> it's me, Michaela, the model from the shoot. <laughs> anyway, check out my pictures below in the link description. Hi guys, it's me, Rachel, the model from the last shoot. If you haven't already, check out my shoot right here, uh-huh. Click on the link and check mine out. It was really good. Also, last but not least, please subscribe, comment, like, share, do all of the above. I really appreciate your support, guys. Thank you.